I'm Steph, aka Literati Medium. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Why haven't you finished The Eye of the World? Uh, I wanted to take a break for my birthday. Uh, and then I got diagnosed with ADHD and was dealing with the emotional fallout from that. Mm -hmm. And then my boss left and I had to acclimate to a new boss. And, and after that, I had a medical procedure and I started a second job and I moved and I, I promise I'll finish it. Just let me go. Finish it. Hello. No, I have not actually been kidnapped and I am under no duress. But seriously, I really did not intend to be away for so long. It just took me a while to acclimate to all the different changes going on in my life. And now, while things aren't necessarily calming down, they're at least starting to normalize enough where I can get back to making content for you guys. But let me tell you, while I haven't been making content, I sure have been reading. So I'm really looking forward to telling you guys about what I've been doing this spring. And also, this past Tuesday was actually my one year YouTube anniversary, so happy youtube anniversary to me! The video that you are about to see was filmed way back in March. However, the editing kind of kept me from finishing it before my birthday. And then, well, you know what happened. But anyways, I hope you enjoy my list of shame. Today, we're gonna go over my list of shame. All of my unfinished series that I want to continue reading. So first let me say, if you hear my dishwasher, I'm really sorry about that. I maybe started my dishwasher not thinking about the fact that I was about to sit down and film, and then I didn't want to stop it because I know myself and I would forget to start it again. So if you hear it, I'm sorry. So today I'm going to go over all of my unfinished series. I do have a few stipulations to this because I have so many unfinished series. I will only be including series where the next book has been released, but I haven't read it yet, so I won't be including series that I am caught up on. I will also not be including series that I have decided to DNF or series that I am purposefully taking my time on largely because I want to do a book versus adaptation to a future season of it, such as the Foundation Trilogy or Shadow and Bone. Which, if you want to see my book versus adaptation for season one of those shows, you can check out this playlist here. So I have so many. Once I pulled my list from Goodreads of how many unfinished series I had, there ended up being a total of 36 series. I'm not going to go through my normal summary and thoughts of what I think of the series so far. I'm going to make this just kind of rapid fire with maybe like one or two sentences on my overall thoughts of the series. And that's just in an effort to keep this video at a reasonable length for you. So let's go! Hidden Legacy by Alona Andrews. Paranormal Romance. Lie detector main character and a hero who can make things go boom. Finish the first trilogy, but need to read the second. The Inquisitor's Guild by Dave Dobson. Wrote a review of this on my blog. Check it out in the links below. Buddy Cop Adventures set in a D&D world. Lots of humor and heart. Dave sent me the second book, so I really have no excuses for this one other than time. The Iron Crown by L.L. McRae. Also wrote a review of this. Dragons are spirits and bestow powers and curses on people. Need to read the novella. The Moonshade Trilogy by Douglas Niles. The first published trilogy in the Forgotten Realm series. It pleasantly surprised me, but focused too much on the villain POV, which was not engaging. Finished the first book. The Arcana Chronicles by Cresley Cole. Post-apocalyptic Louisiana has zombies and new adults that have magic powers and are meant to kill each other. There can be only one. Book of Time by Guillaume Prevost. Sam's father goes missing in time and Sam has to go find him. Have the second book on my shelf and still haven't read it. Newbury and Hobbes by George Mann. Sherlock Holmes meets Doctor Who in the steampunk sci-fi mystery series. Oh, and there are zombies. Constellation by Claudia Gray. Earth is at war with Genesis, but two soldiers, one human, and one AI learn to work together to save both planets and fall in love. Age of Legends by Kelly Armstrong. Twin sisters are supposed to guide the souls of the condemned into the afterlife, but things go awry. 
More Zombies. Red Queen by Victoria Aviard. The poor have red blood. The aristocrats have silver blood. A red-blooded girl finds out she has lightning powers and threatens to overturn the social order. The Queen of the Tearling by Erica Johansson. A dual timeline story that on one hand tells the story of a princess reclaiming her throne from an evil sorceress and on the other of a housewife in a handmaid's tale adjacent society trying to escape her abusive husband. I still have no clue how these timelines are connected, but I need to read the third book. The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. Technically, I finished the series, but then Suzanne released a prequel. Haven't read it. Blood of Eden by Julie Kagawa. A post-apocalyptic story where a girl gets turned into a vampire and goes on the search for a legend that might cure the disease that killed most of civilization. There are definitely zombies. Starcrossed by Josephine Angelini. There was a young girl who lived on Nantucket, and she falls in love with the new boy in town, but the fates have other plans. The Princesses of Westfallen by Jessica Day George. A retelling of the Twelve Dancing Princesses where the princesses are cursed to dance and the soldier that helps them knits. Otherworld by Kelly Armstrong. The adult series that the Awakening trilogy was a spinoff of. Paranormal Romance. Enjoyable, but not as good as the YA series. Still going to read it, though. Ephemera by Anne Bishop. The half-incubus hero keeps hearing the call of a woman who just wants to feel safe and loved. Meanwhile, the eater of the world has escaped its prison. The Black Jewels by Anne Bishop. One of my favorite series, although I realize it can be problematic. There's a prophecy about witch, a queen that will be more powerful than all of the queens who have come before. Pathfinder by Orson Scott Card. A young man can see the past that people's pasts leave behind. Then he learns he can change those paths. Ender's Saga by Orson Scott Card. A young boy gets taken to an elite military school where he fights the buggers, but everything is not what it seems. Fair Folk Trilogy by Jillian Summers. A girl goes to live with her father who works the Renaissance Fair Circus and finds out elves are real. Study by Maria V. Snyder. Girl avoids being put to death for murder by becoming a food taster and develops magical powers. Becca Cooper by Tamora Pierce. A rookie in the town guard solves crimes in another Tortal series. Wicked Lovely by Melissa Marr. Several girls fall in love with the guys from the Fey world. Akatar before Akatar was cool. Princess Academy by Shannon Hale. A girl goes to a school to learn to be a princess and defends the school from bandits. Spirit Walker by Kate Elliott. I honestly don't remember much about the first book other than the two characters study airships. Still want to finish it though. Into the Land of the Unicorns by Bruce Coville. Love the first two books, but books three and four are impossible to find in print. I likely will have to borrow them from my niece. Cassandra Palmer by Karen Chance. Girl raised by a vampire mafia finds out she's the heir to the most powerful seat in the magical world. Lots of people try to kill her. Darina Basarab by Karen Chance. A spinoff of the Cassandra Palmer series about a dampier. Evernight by Claudia Gray. Girl goes to creepy boarding school and falls in love with a guy, but there are secrets that will tear them apart. Wildwood by Juliet Marillier. A retelling of Twelve Dancing Princesses, but there are only five princesses. It's also crossed with Dracula. The Mortal Instruments by Cassandra Clare. Another series I thought I had finished, but then more books were released. The Chronicles of Narnia by C.S. Lewis. Read these as a kid, but couldn't finish past the silver chair because it was too dark. The Time Quintet by Madeline Ingle. I may have finished this, but I don't remember and Goodreads says no. The Noah's Ark story was my favorite. Waverly Family by Sarah Addison Allen. Don't remember much about this other than my first experience with magical realism before I knew what that was and that I liked it. So there you have it. There are all of my unfinished series that I would like to finish. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more bookish content, and leave me the book stack emoji because lots of books. Let's see what stories tomorrow brings.